December 2018. Brooklyn cafes and grocery stores are in crisis mode. The supply of Oatly, the alternative milk that devotees say makes for a creamier, tastier latte than even cow's milk, has run dry. Turns out, Brooklynites have been chugging the oat drink faster than its Swedish manufacturer could make it. And it's an utter disaster. Amidst the shortage, one Amazon seller is letting go a 12-pack of the Barista Blend for 200 US dollars, shipping not included. In recent years, milk with a Y made from plants and supposedly better for your health and the environment, has created a $16 billion global industry. But behind the packaging and marketing claims, just how well do alternative milks stack up against old-fashioned dairy on the nutrition scale? First, we've got to look at how milk came to be the original superfood. For most of history, milk was consumed within moments of milking because when left unrefrigerated, it spoils quickly and can harbor a variety of deadly pathogens. In the early 20th century, milk became safe enough for mass consumption with the introduction of mandatory pasteurization. But it was the First World War, a time where food was limited and child malnutrition rife, that ultimately aligned political forces behind the dairy business. In Britain, the emerging field of nutritional science identified milk, high in protein content, and newly discovered vital amines, or vitamins, as a miracle product. Thanks to government price controls, it was one thing not in short supply. Some milk with the muscles in it. <laughs> Touchdown! You kids can score too with Borden's milk. The all-American drink, the best taste. And with milk industry in bodies Make embarking sure on campaigns on that hand. enhance milk's image, dairy cemented its place as a well-known source of bone-strengthening calcium, as well as many other nutrients such as B12, zinc, vitamin A, riboflavin, potassium, phosphorus, and magnesium. While alternative milks can be a low-carb, low-calorie option for those watching their weight. Are they packed with the same nutritional goodness? Consumers perceive plant-based as a healthier version. is 100% more sustainable. There is no doubt about it. But from the health point of view and nutrition point of view, there are some question marks sometimes about the nutrition that some of these products can provide. Let's take a closer look at each of our plant-based contenders. The closest nutritionally to milk is probably soy, a vital source of protein over centuries for the Chinese people. When fortified with calcium and vitamins A and D, soy milk is the only non-dairy milk that is comparable to cow's milk in terms of nutrient balance. One cup has eight grams of protein, 110 calories, and about half the fat in whole milk. Sometimes called plant protein milk, pea milk is a close runner-up. High in protein, 8 grams per cup, and containing half the calories of fat in whole milk. Rice, on the other hand, features low on the protein scale. The beverage also has fast digesting carbohydrates, which can quickly convert into glucose spiking insulin and blood sugar levels that can be concerning for people with diabetes. Almond, probably the most popular of plant milk, has just about a quarter the calories of whole milk and about two-thirds less fat. But it is no match for dairy or raw almonds themselves in terms of protein, containing just about an eighth of the protein in cow's milk. Commercial almond milk is often so watered down that it might contain as little as 2% almonds, prompting manufacturers to infuse it with other nutrients like vitamin D and calcium. Unlike soy or almond milk, which had historical uses, oat milk was a complete invention of the 90s and has recently rose to fame. One cup of the popular Oatly brand's original version has five grams of fat 
and slightly fewer calories than whole milk, but has seven grams of added sugars and only three grams of protein. So this begs the question, which milk is healthier for you? Ultimately, it will depend on whether the drink is fortified, how much added sugars it contains, and how it fits into your overall diet. There are a lot of products that are very heavily processed, that contain a lot of not recognizable ingredients for the consumer, which always raises question marks. One of the big challenges for the industry is how to get these products much cleaner in terms of the ingredients list and recognizable ingredients. So remember to never assume that plant milks contain the same nutrients as cow's milk. And some of the sweetest versions can contain more added sugar than a donut. <laughs>